and here's a full final walk around of this thing after it's finally been completed. I was going to do a time lapse and some other little things, but the camera corrupted the time lapse file, so I was missing half of them, and uh, I just lost all interest in doing doing one. And uh, I didn't even hardly take any pictures either. That I'll, I'll have a slideshow later on, eventually someday, of uh, this thing from when it was completely stocked to the way it is now. Starting off on the front, is a 12 inch LED light bar. There's a, I think it, they think this is a nine row or a 12 row oil cooler from eBay. It's got a heavy duty front bumper I built on it and a 3,500 pound super ATV front winch. Then on the shocks in the front, there's 450R front shocks and uh, they're adjusted all the way for the preload and they have a uh, about a half inch PVC spacer in them to take up the slack then these axles in the front here are cobra hd 680 rinkin plus six axles and compared to stock they are enormous and they're they're really almost seven inches longer than stock because they're from a different atv they don't sell ones for a honda 300. it's got a drive shaft switch out with a uh, with a brace to keep it from moving and stopping and it's got a super ATV front disc brake conversion kit as well and the calipers and the extra long brake lines are just sitting there I haven't had time to bleed them but the brake lines are plenty long enough for the, they're the 5 foot version the 60 inch universals from eBay and uh, these the the whole caliper disc and everything kit it's really great and it's it, it fits perfectly and it works really good whenever actually it's hooked up. The fenders have been plasti dipped blue. You can see where I've hit hit it different places and it's peeling off and it was green originally. It's had various different pieces painted and put back on like like these. Eventually the whole motor will be painted gloss black. I had to put a new uh, shifter on it because the old one would move. And uh, it was ridiculous how much it would move. It would, it would move almost so much I could probably pull it off if it didn't, it, when it didn't have a bolt in it. Um, it looked like it was falling off all the time. Then it's got a uh, two inch snorkel all the way to the top that's been reduced to a uh, inch and a quarter reducer and siliconed up in the air box up there. It's got a gas tank vent and uh, the dual brake line kit from Speed Lines. This is a 60 inch version. And these snorkels are about five foot and six inches tall, maybe a little bit more to the top of the snorkels to the from the ground then so tires it's got 29 and a half inch original outlaws that are they're quite old they're like five or six years old they just haven't hardly been used ever until I got them they, I still haven't hardly used them and it's been header wrapped all the way up to the back where it has the M4 motorcycle exhausts on it and for the rear, it has a 300EX rear shock. It's kind of stiff until you uh, get it working at angles it's not supposed to be. It wasn't meant for, so it's a little softer. And even then, I still had to make it as soft as it could just to make it, give it enough sag to fit right. And then I have two inch wheel spacers and then six inch ones stacked on top of them to make up for the six inch lift in the front plus six axles because of, because of the rims I'm running because they're all uh, front front offset I have to run an extra two inches on the back normally the six inches would be enough but it's not and it's got an axle paddle and a 
Honda 250 ES big red rear axle and it's uh, had a brake delete put on it and then just in case because I've seen pictures of one where they've been broke off right here from um, this part bending I put a, a brace right there and all that should be about perfect should never have any problems with it and it's got a, a black leather seat cover with Honda made on it and the white Honda wing stickers I can start it up but there ain't no brakes on it so it's just gonna attempt to roll down the hill when I do start it because I was messing with the brakes and decide I'll just do it later On the rear, the swing arm stretch is nine and a half inches. And that's really about everything that's been done to this that I can think of. And it's got, and the only other thing I can think of that you can't see is it's got a 54% reduction and a big red camshaft. And that's really about it.